And yep. if, if I'm not wrong, you two got something in common. You both started out in the Tough Man contest, right? I did, yeah. Yeah. Well, you did as well, right, Dan? Yeah, that, that was actually my first time ever was in a in a tough man contest. Uh and that's where I I I, I actually still have the, the tough man jacket. I, I did I did a show up in Battle Creek, Michigan, but I was this was before my MMA career or anything like that actually took off. I happened to see this little flyer come in and it said tough man location, first prize, one thousand dollars. I simply knew I needed a thousand dollars. So I don't know. It, 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 it's kind of so funny because I simply I did not tell I did not tell my my family anything like that I was doing I just said I'm 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 taking off today and maybe tomorrow because they always did a Friday Saturday type of combination yeah we'll be going to go do a little wrestling because <laughs> I had never put on I, I had I think boxing gloves maybe as a as a kid with my with my other brother or something like that but did we know what we were doing at that point in time no you're just being you know just stupid kids at that point in time but that was uh. I reckon that's the first time I met Art Door at that point in time too, and he looked like he reminded me of Wolfman Jack with all that silver hair. And, oh, and he, hair. yeah, no doubt. And he always had he always had that black black tuxedo and the cigar. I mean, he he, he liked playing the, the role right there. I just know that when I belly to belly launched my my first opponent, I mean, because I tell you, I, I tell you, who Art reminded me of is the guy that done the Caseco beer commercials. Yeah, there you go. The, the, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So for anybody that wasn't familiar with that, they might think like the, the Tough Man contest was similar to a UFC or a Bellator. How much different was that than like current MMA and what we see today? Oh, it, Night it, and day. I mean, there's no, no comparison. Yeah. It, it, it's all stand up. And that's where, again, that's where people like me would be just easy pickings. You know, again, I, I, I defied the rules. I did literally when I, when I, when I said I, I closed – my guy throws a couple of go haymakers. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm like, my eyes got big. Like, going, I got, I got close the distance. Hit him in, in, in the chest with a couple of gloves. Got him back for a little bit. I were inside of a professional ring. I had always started doing my training in professional ring. I knew the dynamics of this ring. I'm about to hit this old big old rubber band, and then when it goes on out, eventually a nurse is going to bring him right back in. So once I felt weight come back in, I locked him in his body and just threw him. And the crowd exploded when, when I threw him and he hits the canvas and it practically rips off part of his face and stuff like that. He's he's discombobulated, doesn't want nothing to do with it at that point in time. I'm looking down at Art Door. Art Door looks up at me. He hears the crowd. He goes, well, he, throw him again. He just, I think, yeah. game on. I can do this. <laughs> how so, many of these guys were actually trained? Did many of them know how to fight or was it just people that thought they were going to get in there and fight? Not many. Most of them just went in there and did it. Did they? Me and there's a few others, especially in my area, that would start training. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, believe it or not, they're still paying about $1,000 to win. So back oh. 20 years ago, that $1,000 is a lot more money in reality. Oh, yeah, I'm no, sure. it, it was, uh, there were, uh, you, you could tell by the way that they wore their gear out there. There were, there were some guys that showed up wearing boxy shoes. Some guys wore tennis shoes. Some guys actually had like uh, what looked like boxy trunks or some type of martial arts type of trunks, maybe some tank tops, stuff like that. You know, I look like John L. Sullivan because I wore an amateur wrestling singlet, amateur wrestling shoes, which amateur wrestling shoes kind of look like boxy shoes, but my hair was yeah, a lot. My hair was like way, way dark, black looking, and the black mustache. I look like John L. Sullivan, especially because I didn't know how to hold my hands. <laughs> People were literally were, were laughing at me because they thought I was part of their, you know, I don't know, halftime uh, comedy hour or something like that. That's funny. Now, being, uh, I could have swore I saw something on uh, social media the other day. It looks like you might be bringing back a few of the tough man contests yourself. Now, is this similar to the old ones or is it a little bit different? It's the same format. It, it, ours is called Roughest and Toughest. And uh, we, we take really good care of the fighters. We make sure, you know, the doctors are there. We check them all out really good, really competitively match. I mean, like with the tough man back in the day, they didn't, I don't think they matched them like correctly, like equals. So we, we match them pretty much. So it's really exciting to watch the whole fight. I mean, Caleb's fighting on, the, on the, one of my shows. It's actually this coming weekend. And uh, it, it's a feature fight. He's not fighting in the tournament because he's had 
professional fights. But, you know, we don't, we, we really deep check and we're all, every fight that we do is with the commission. Back in the day, there was no commission involved. Hmm. Gotcha. So after they win five, they're done. They can't fight in our, our contest no more. Now, is this just stand up only or is there wrestling and everything? No, else? It's, it's, it's basically three one minute round stand up. We're going to see some knockouts. Oh, yeah. They, I mean, they, they go at it pretty, pretty good. Oh, that's awesome, man.